For the last dozens of years, a revolution has happened in land-based science. Aircraft that can take people anywhere in the world. Radio waves that can broadcast to anyone in the world. And now rocketry that can take us into space and beyond. Whoops, looks like we need more science. But we have run into a problem. The limits of land-based science. We need a new source of science. So even now, scientists are going beyond a new frontier, into the big blue yonder, the briny deep, home of the octopus, the shark, the merlin, and the deadly vagina fish. Searching the deep for science. They brave unknown dangers. Watch out! You've roused the deadly vagina fish! Get out of there! Get out of there now! Get that helmet off! Get it off! Get it off! Oh, you've made it! That was a close call. And that is why we use the safety of boats to harvest the seas of their technology advances. And look at what technology advances have taken place. A wonderful treasure trove of wonders. Why today's catch alone could provide the science to create a television big enough for an entire hospital to watch. And this beauty will provide enough science science to send this rocket all the way to the stars to provide an entire next generation of information of all kinds of wonderful, uh oh, we still need more science, better get the big guns out. And what sea creature provides more in scientific discovery than man's great nemesis, the whale? Since the time when Jonah was swallowed and thus established for the first time that the earth was not flat, whales have been the greatest source of science known to mankind. Having evolved the largest brain in the known universe, whales are therefore the most densely packed source of science and technology ever conceived by God. But how does this work? You see, as you go up the food chain, the predators get smarter than their prey. Just like harmless mercury, intelligence builds up as you get to the top of the food chain. So as the whale is the very pinnacle of the marine ecosystem, they can literally be called lions of the sea. Hunting the whales is a great test of skill, prowess, and exploding harpoons. And when we get one, it is a race to the finish, because we don't want sharks to get our prize. We don't want to see sharks smarter than us. It's kill or be killed. And once it's back on dry land, where it belongs, we harvest its meat and organs for valuable corsets, scrimshaw, and of course, industrial lubricants. Nothing but nothing goes to waste. So while you might find it unpleasant at times, we all need to support our local whaling industry. Because if we all stop whaling, science and technology in our country will decay. While those nations that keep on whaling will keep on advancing to the moon and beyond.